fade back in on Harborvale, a coastal town striving to rebuild. Its residents tread warily on the unsteady ground that has eroded beneath their feet. Despite the community's tenuous air of relief and recovery, there are still so many secrets to unveil. Secrets of an ancestral curse and the struggle to contain it. Secrets of vengeance biding their time. Secrets of alluring control washed onto the shore. Secrets of the beast within and the desire to release it. And as we tear back the veil of these silent secrets, we shall uncover the truth of what it requires to live beside the bay. Hello, and welcome back to These Silent Secrets. My name is Zach, and I am so happy to be your MC. We're back, everybody. It's season two. We're very, very excited. Before we dive in, it's important to thank just a bunch of people. First and foremost, I want to thank all of you for sticking with us through the entire first season, and thank you so much for coming back for season two. I missed you. I love you. We're glad to be continuing this story. Thank you to Ghostlight Media. We're, we love being a part of the network. Thank you guys very, very much for everything you guys do for us. And then, of course, for the incredible Nicole Tuttle Rob for all the work she does in scoring our episodes, doing our social media, making us sound and look incredible for all of you. But with all of that squared away... All that remains is this very first episode of season two. So let us dive in to this episode of these silent secrets beside the bay. It's season two time. Season two. <laughs> I was hoping you would both somehow sing the same song. Um, and it didn't quite happen, but it started really well. I thought about trying to match her, but I was like, nah, I'm going to fuck this up. The pressure's too high. <laughs> yeah, it's like that improv game where, like, two people have to, like, say the same thing at the same time. So you've got two oh. people who are like, and uh, how are you? <laughs> It's just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but tell me you don't know what improv game I'm talking about. I, I know what you're talking about. We know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you. We know. We all know we what all Zach's talking know. about. Hi, I'm Mr. I, look, we haven't recorded <laughs> in in, so in a dog's long. age. It's it's been a whole while. Um and I'm I'm glad to be back at it. Uh, glad to be uh, 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 here with you, beautiful folks. Uh, you know, listeners, like we're back. We're here for you to take you and uh, whisk you away on a tale of mystery, of intrigue, and hopefully a little, a little bit horny this season. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I've like, switched skins to the you. unicorn. Yeah, I, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> I gotta say, last season. It was not as spicy as I would have liked it to be. I got and so, stabbed. Yeah, you got <laughs> yeah yeah you got stabbed, and then yeah and then uh, the only other like romantic bits that happened were one uh, committed relationship and one kiss in a broom closet that uh, began um, a remainder of the season long meltdown of some sort. But you know what? It came back full circle with another kiss at the end. Which I really appreciate, and I'm sure our fans did as well. There the was, season two twist is that uh, Gael is no longer with Mia, and he's dating Bash now. <laughs> well, don't Can. give it away. <laughs> Zach just furiously writing notes. <laughs> <laughs> are we ready? Oh my god! Yeah, let's get it. Like, are we ready to do this? Season two, let's go. Season two, I think we're ready to go. And I'm horrified and nervous about it, but, like, I'm ready to dive in. Get it? Because it's, it's a bay? Okay, yeah. let's go. Uh, no, no explain, explain it more. <laughs> so, in a bay... Uh-huh. Oh, I wonder See, when there's bodies in the water. I've, I've, I've missed you guys so much. 
I was hoping that as you described uh, diving in, you would go into Henry from the Weather Service again. I will never. Dude, I love Henry from the Weather <laughs> never Service. Never say never. I that might be the only thing that Henry can save from... us this season. Yeah. <laughs> the bad guy's like, now you, werewolf child, do your do your uh, uh, Henry from the Weather Men's, uh, from the Weather Service voice now, or Can't I'll go kill the rest himself. of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't. You don't want to do that because yeah. darkest suffering this season's very different. Yes, it is. Oh, but man. I don't want to spoil it. We're not going to no. spoil things too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. Months have passed. The four of you have delved into a beautiful summer, free from the. How shall I say it? Shenanigans that happened last season. The late fall of your junior year of high school was, frankly, a bit of a mess. And as that school year came to an end and you were let loose into the freedom of summer, you got the chance to just be teens for a little bit. Which may have been nice, may not have been. Let's check in. Avery... How was your summer? It's been kind of... Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's been As soon as I week. said it. <laughs> uh, Avery's summer has been pretty solitary, okay. I think. Um, not necessarily because she wanted to like withdraw from anybody. I don't think that was the intent. And she's actually probably trying not to. Mm-hmm. But I think it's just the nature of f- the new things that she is trying to figure out about herself. Gotcha. That she's been spending a lot of time alone. Um. Yeah. I think. I think sort of. You know, the late summer, like you know, like uh, uh, maybe second or third week of like August. Like you're gearing up for school to start up again. You're you're at the mall. You're replenishing your stores of leather jackets because last season you kind of ripped up a bunch of them. I went through like four. So you've got to you know, refill the cash. Um, and I think while you're sort of browsing around, um, you're approached by uh, your class, uh, everyone's favorite frenemy, Logan Harmon. Uh, Avery. <laughs> Logan. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm doing all right. Um. She sort of walks around like the rack that you're going through. That looks nice. I know. I wouldn't be here if it didn't. I I was just saying that you have good taste. You don't say that I have good taste, Logan. What's 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 going on? What do you it's, want? Look, we're going into the senior year. I'm just trying to turn over a new leaf, I guess. You know, after the town was almost submerged in water, like I, I reevaluated a few things. So you're deciding that we aren't mortal enemies anymore? Um, well, well, I was actually, um, are you in, are you in Jason still kind of a thing? Uh, I, I, okay, not that I owe you any explanation of any kind, uh, but I'm, I, I think in order to still be a thing, you kind of had to be a thing in the first place, and... That was more of like a, a fleeting moment. Uh, we're we're friends, uh, but you know, no, nothing really came from that. Gotcha. Well, um, if you ever want to get coffee or something, um, let me know. Wait, are, uh, Logan, are you hitting on me right now? I would I wouldn't say hitting on you. I'm directly asking you to. Go out with me. I don't know if that counts as like hitting on. I'm so, I'm sorry. You're giving me a little bit of whiplash right now. Um. Oh, I will think about it. Okay. Okay. And she turns to exit the store, and as she's um beginning to walk away, that yeah, this sort of inquisitive feeling that you're having, you feel it surge a little bit. Oh, like, no. like your internal need to like find the truth mm-hmm. in things, figure out people's intentions, figure out what they want, reaches out without 
you commanding it to. And you see as Logan sort of stops for a moment and just sort of catches her breath and continues walking out of the store. Did I learn anything from this involuntarily? Uh, you, yeah. She was like 100% genuinely just trying to ask you out. Your instinct of like, this has got to be a joke, right? Spurred something on without you wanting it to. Uh-oh. But yeah, she was genuine. Uh, Avery buys two of the leather jackets that she sees. Cool. And immediately leaves. Nice. Nice. <laughs> So you don't immediately leave. You buy the jackets first, and then you leave. No, I said I buy the jackets, then, then immediately leave. Okay. leave. You don't stop for a Wetzel's <laughs> or anything. You, you just get out of okay, it. Okay, hold on. I buy the leather jackets. I grab a Cinnabon, and then okay, I immediately leave. Okay, you grab a Cinnabon, leave. and then you immediately leave. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Incredible. I don't even stop to look at, like, the cute animals. No. No. You just get a Cinnabon, and you go. Nice. I was going to make the joke one more time, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, I stopped to look at the cute animals for a little bit. And then, and I, then I immediately left. <laughs> oh. I Bad thought joke. the joke was going to be, it's Bon. It's Bon. St- oh, God. Uh, I missed you, Freddy. Season two was going so well. It was going really well. Uh, so Jason. Got so little time before the first it's been joke. Don't <laughs> don't blame this on me. Jason, um, how uh, how's your summer been? What have you been up to? Uh, Jason has been like, like ev- like everything that Jason has been doing over the summer belongs in a montage. Like it has right, been. Wait, like, read it. Read me through the montage. Like what? Yeah, like, what does like, this look like? There's been like Jason like going through files and researching like the company, mm-hmm. trying to find information on Nadia, trying to find connections that she has, trying to figure out like more details about how everything is structured, etc. Um, trying to map out where other um, like business like caches are, like oh, the gotcha. one that we ran into first, like trying to figure out where all like as many of those as he can map out as possible. Um, there's been You've like got a nice little murder board going. Yeah, he's got a board. He's been he's been like he's been like training Mm -hmm. he is like he's like built like a proper cw team now oh nice um it's just like he is determined to not be caught unprepared again nice i love that um yeah i think one like one of the few days like you like have just like i'm gonna go just like grab a fucking like slush like slushy and just kind of like relax for the day um, you're walking around downtown and you see like uh, as Cooper sort of stumbles backwards from an alleyway um, who uh, like that like looks like he was like probably shoved or something. Um, and he is followed not far behind by Gael Gunn. Gael Gunn looks like he he too has put on about 30 pounds of muscle and has gained uh, shot up to about six foot six. Jeez. He's gone through a hell of a growth spur and put on like a shit ton of muscle in the months since uh, school. Let you know since like that's everything like, had that's happened. Like Ten last, pounds a month. He put on uh, like he, the dude is tall and stacked now. Oh no, mm. he's that's hot. Like, that's like a. That's like skinned level of uh, transformation there, <laughs> MC. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you see Cooper who's just like, just f- fucking lay off, dude. What the fuck is your problem? And you see Guy yeah, who comes in there, grabs uh, Cooper by like, you know, the, his fucking, he's wearing like a baseball tee and just kind of hoists him back up to his feet. And yeah, he's just kind of knocking Cooper around. Yeah, I think that I think that Jason's just gonna get up in the middle and just like try to like shove Gael back like with just like a hand on the chest and be like, dude, what is what's going on? Uh I think that's a great moment. Uh Jason, will you roll me one uh, either uh, either of your uh season advancements, uh what was it, your growing up moves would work for this situation. I would oh, I, I, right. I would hazard a guess. Because um, you took okay. what called people on their Um I, well, one of them is share your pain, which I oh, gotcha, is, not share. Your, one. But the so other inter, one is intervene indeed, in an act of violence. Yes, yeah, intervene in an act of violence. This is pretty intervening. Yeah, will you roll that for me? Okay, how do I do that? 
So uh, I believe that one is a volatile. volatile. Yeah, if, volatile. if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken. You're right. I've I've got it pulled up. It's oh, volatile. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, you would right. roll volatile first. First roll of season. Yeah, that is, that is a move that you can like uh, add like in, in into your character sheet, like under like you know your other moves and whatever tab you have going on. Okay, um, I will for quick reference in the future. See if I can add that while I'm not on screen. But volatile roll season two. Let's go submit. Uh, any other modifiers? I don't think so. That's a ten. Hey. Full success. Uh, so Marcus, you have that up. Will you read oh. uh, what? Oh, the full success. On a 10-up, you get in the way, and they need to deal with you first. Awesome. So, yeah, what does that look like, Jason? Uh, oh, sorry. It looks like there's also one other thing. Whoever you're protecting also gets to react and takes one forward to whatever they decide to do. Cool. Nice. I, I think it literally is just like Jason just, like, like shoves Guile back from the chest and then just gets in between Nice. him and Cooper. Chen, 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 how's it going? I'm fine. Good. How are you? How is everyone here? I'm feeling great. How are you doing, Cooper? And yeah, Cooper's sitting there. No, I'm, 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 I'm great. You, you don't have to answer that, Thank Cooper. you. We know, you. we know what's going on here. I was not great. You're right. You're right, Jason. Thank you. So, so what's the problem? What do you, what do you mean, what's the problem? Don't be, don't be dumb. Come on. Oh. What are you doing? Having a little fun with Coop, me and Coop hanging out. Cooper, is this fun? No, sir. No, it's not. I don't. Okay. Guy out. Come on. We don't. We're we're both smart enough to know what's going on here. What are what are you? Why are you doing this? I mean, it's Cooper, right? It is Cooper. Is that? I, I am not following the train of thought that you're having right Cooper now. Cooper doesn't mind if people mess around with him. Come on. I think I think Cooper minds. I think I mind a little bit here. So oh, okay. Are you, are you going to back off? I would love to see you make me back off, Jason. I tell you what. I don't make first moves. You're welcome to swing first. He like looks you up and down. I'll see you in school. And yeah, he he walks off uh, uh, down the street. You know, flicks his fucking heart-shaped sunglasses that he still fucking got with him. Uh, as, down. as soon as he's out of like line of sight, Jason is like, ah. <sighs> Cooper, what was that? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I was just walking down the street and suddenly Guy Ellis is big as a Mack truck. And He's huge. I don't know what happened. That's like that's like ten pounds per month. It's a lot. It's a lot. He's been really working. Have, on what? Like, is he like I, uh, his his physique? I don't fucking know. All, all I know is I was walking down. I said he had some cool shoes on, and then he I don't know. He got like roid ragey or something. I I I'll I'll. Stay away from him for now. I That's guess. my plan. Like, That's my plan. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What were his shoes? I don't know. He had some nice Jordans on. Nice. But he still sucks. So like, avoid him. Oh, okay. I, I will. I don't know. If you see him do anything else like that, let me know. But oh, okay. That's that's weird, even for him. Yeah. All right. Well. Thanks, boss. And he just pats you on the back and starts don't, walking away. D d please never call me sir again. We're okay. The same age. I'm sorry. And I think that Jason is just like kind of like left like standing in the middle of the sidewalk being like What the fuck just What happened? the fuck was this morning? <laughs> very what good. Was that? Very, very good. Kanan, how was your summer? Kanan's summer, I think Kanan went on a family vacation. Nice. Probably somewhere up north and very woodsy. That, that is um a perfect for what I wrote for you, my friend. Fuck. No, we went to <laughs> the New <beach>? Jersey. <laughs> yeah, we went to New Jersey, which is funny because that's only maybe like what three, four hours from from Maine. <laughs> yep, big old family vacation <laughs> to, to Jersey. Yep, it's our destination. <laughs> no, but I'll be mean, like, aside from like your big vacation, like what were you doing around town? Like, what did you fill your summer with? I think mostly filled summer with, uh, again, keeping up with the renovation projects, like working with my dad. Yeah. 
kind of part you, time helping. I know you said you uh, were playing, you're running some D and D for people. Yeah. Who do you think's in that party? I, I was very interested when you brought that up. I feel like in the party, I feel like Jason would be there. I feel like Cooper would be there. Nice. I know. I, I think. Sure. I think Avery had said she's playing an Aarakocra in that. Yeah. But so you think like Cooper's involved? I feel like Xavier would have shown up to a few sessions hoping Isla was there, but then probably dropped after Isla never showed up. Katie, you're doing a really good job of saying things that I want to be like, actually. Um, but just wait. It's fine. God damn it. I'm going to. Can I stop talking? I'm not <laughs> sure. starting this season sure. off well. You can start talking. It's fine. No, stop um, talking. No, uh, yeah, I, I, just because I like the, the the connection of people in uh, a TTRPG. Yeah, I think you got Cooper, um, you know, the, these two jokers. Um, yeah, I think Xavier showed up, and not long, uh, he, like, dragged uh, Austin along. Um, you've picked up on the fact that those two are a bit of a thing now. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so you've been playing some D and D, you've been helping out around town, and then yeah, I think at some point it's like you, some of your family, uh, uh, go like probably like upstate New York, like it, like where like the woods are like real thick, like you know mm-hmm. there there's mountains and bears and well that's that's where like the I don't know where the Berkshires are, fuck. There's mountains and bears. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> No, but I think, like, you're out there in the thick of it, and I think at w- at one point you and Katrina sort of venture off on your own, trying to just kind of get a little, just even deeper out there. Um, and I think along uh, uh, the trip, the two of you end up getting attacked by something very similar to you. Um, it's like a big sort of canine thing, but, like, along its back, like, its spines got, like, spikes almost that poke out of it. Um, I think it's a moment where, like, you are caught off guard. Like, you didn't see it coming. Um, and, like, by the time, like, you let your instincts kick in, like, Katrina has already sort of swept up, like, the threat. And you feel the wolf inside you, like, stir in almost disapproval. Like, you've been in charge for a bit now. And I feel like... It's it, it saw that as like a moment of weakness almost like these instincts are like you weren't ready, and so you kind of yeah somewhere in the back of your head you feel there's a little bit of a stir. Okay. But yeah, no, uh, uh, you uh, by the time like yeah, uh, 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 as we had mentioned, you um your apex predator is now sort of taking the place of you like when you wolf out so like by the time like yeah you fully wolf out you see Katrina like ripping this thing's like throat out and she sort of shifts out she goes are you okay uh yeah I'm I'm fine are you are you okay I'm fucking fine no you got the ju- fucking jump on both of us but fucking hell yeah I <sighs> so, sorry I uh, sorry Sorry, I wasn't much help back there. I, hey, don't, hey, don't, don't apologize. Just take this as a, as a lesson. Just be ready going forward, okay, bud? Yeah, I'll try that. Um, what, what was that? Uh, that I think, um, that is a, um, that is a chupacabra right there, bud. <sighs> okay, I uh. I didn't think those were real. I know that sounds kind of funny coming yeah. from me, but see that at that yeah, you'll you'll get that more and more as you kind of learn about stuff. Yeah, you're gonna be like, "What the fuck? That's a thing." Yeah. Okay. I and Kanan kind of like is staring at the body and is just like having a hard time talking. Yeah, you're watching. You know, you're staring at this body and you're watching as you're like it lays motionless, but you're watching like the bones and stuff reset to like it's this person's human form until eventually uh, you just see like uh, you know uh, uh, let's say a woman of maybe mid 20s she why um what do what do we do i don't know why would she do that i don't know why she would do that did we do something no when people have 
some of the instincts that we have. I mean, neither people it exactly like us. They um, either can't bring uh, find control there, or they don't want to, and lean into their more feral side and are fine attacking and killing innocent people. Should we tell someone about this? You should definitely let your pet, your folks know. Okay. Um, but I mean, the. the it's hard to call forest rangers or whatever um, when, one, I've got a lot of blood on my hands. Our clothes are now torn. And um, I think our best idea is probably to get out of here. Yeah, let's let's go. Okay. And, like, as we start walking back, Kanan is, like, really focused on the body, just, like, staring back over their shoulder and... Like, kind of a weird mix of anger, confusion, and terror. Mm hmm. Noted, noted. So, we are getting towards the end of your summer vacation, or what is technically your summer vacation. You're, you've been uh, out of school since uh, uh, pretty much November. Mm-hmm. Um,. But so, what have you, what's like a, a something that you've been up to uh, over the summer? Um, I think Isla is learning how to take over the family business. Nice. You're learning the farm? Yeah. The the, the, the ways of the kelp? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Harvesting I th- yeah. the planting. Yeah. Yeah. You're, 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 you're doing the thing. Julian's there with you the whole way. It's mm-hmm. cute. Your father makes a lot of gag noises, I think, every time you and Julian are making googly eyes at each other. I think he's just jealous. He's just jealous. Yeah. No, Julian's his best friend. And now he's just hanging out with his daughter all the time. Oh, man. And where's that guy time, you know? Um, I think at some point during the summer, like, maybe, like, you go to that cave just to, like, check on the bag with the stuff in it. Yeah. Is, that, is this a thing that you do often? Just kind of double-checking things are there? Like, I was kind of copacetic on that front? Or is this maybe, like, the first time you've done that over the year? I believe that I go to the cave quite often. Gotcha. But not check it you, all you, the time. Gotcha. So like it, it, it's it's there. You check it when you kind of have an opportunity to. But like for the most part, like you're not you're not super stressed about it. But I think this this time you go, and you know you you, you check in on the stuff, and you like feel the ocean thrum around you, like it's essentially reaching out in a way and you see as like the the stone of this cave uh, sort of you know on the i want to say the floor i guess that still technically works kind of opens a bit like the ocean is saying hey do you want me to get rid of this shit for you so that no one can ever abuse these things ever again and essentially uh, offering you um uh, you f- Ever since everything had happened, you've sort of felt this growing attunement with the ocean. Mm-hmm. You know, like a connection to it, you know, that, that that control over it that you sort of were starting to really develop. And you feel like, I'll do both of this, this big solid, and then like, we're tight. But would I know where they're putting it? You, like, what, like, it's, it's not, you know, obviously it's not words, but, like, the vibe you're getting is, like, I will throw this as it's far into the fucking crust of the earth as I can get this shit so that, like, mm. like, folks can't dig this shit up ever again. You don't sense, like, some, like, nefarious ocean things like, I'm gonna steal yeah. this forever. I will say yes to that. Awesome. Yeah. You, you. So you take this bag and you place it sort of into this opening that's hap- that's developing, and you watch as the earth covers it and sort of the the, the space, the, the crack that had formed, and as the earth sort of enveloped that bag, it sort of smooths back out like it had never happened again. And you sort of reach down and put your hand on it just to be like that happened, right? And you watch as like the tips of your fingers start to sort of flow away a little bit like almost uh do you ever watch this might be a little before your time but there was an i believe a nickelodeon series called alex mac and it was a girl who could just turn into water like she would just turn into like a puddle 
and could like okay. go under doors and stuff. But so like your the the tips of your finger almost like condensate and just sort of flick off and like are following your hand as you're sort of moving them through the water like what is happening and then a few moments later they sort of come back to your finger your hands your hand like reforms the way it's always been but for a moment not only like were you like in tune and one with the sea you kind of were the sea for a bit you were sort of blending into it that's new and yeah, whatever you do with that, I guess for the remainder of the summer, you just have this moment of like, oh, this shit is developing uh, a lot more than I thought it would. And okay. and yeah, awesome. Um, so your summer, uh, you know, continues. Whatever it is that you guys have been up to, as we're getting into sort of the last few days of summer, it's like you know the the Friday before you go back on Monday, um, and. Xavier is throwing a party. I feel like I've been here before. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> Classic Cipriano, right? Um, but yeah, they're, uh, he's having a party at his house, you know, where uh, you know, his mom now lives um, with him and his younger sister. Sal is gone. Um, Still somewhere on the bottom of the ocean. Swam down there and stayed forever. <laughs> Wait, time out. So his mom is fine? I mean, she's still battling cancer, but okay. like, she's alive. Okay. Yeah, she's still sort of, like, in that, like, sort like She's been able to, like, go to a real hospital um, after Sal's been gone, which is nice. Um, but, yeah, like, she's not doing great, but, like, she's hanging in there. Got it. So she's okay. there. They've got a nurse that, you know, is usually in home, you know, helping her out. She goes in for treatment, as you know, ever so often, and... Yeah, she's just she's just trucking along. Monica's doing Monica. Uh, but yeah, uh, you it, it's a, a much smaller shindig this time. Not quite everyone in the grade, but like you know, uh, you 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 show up. You know, you've got you know like Xavier and Austin are there. Uh, like Bridget and that you know Bridget Harper Kai's hanging out. Uh, there's a few, yeah, a, a few people from school. It's nowhere near the rager it was, uh, last time when, uh, all the shit began. Um, but yeah, what are you guys doing at the party? Do you guys arrive together or are you all, all separate arrivals? I would offer to drive everybody. Kanan would respectfully decline a ride. Okay. Mostly in a bid to try and get Avery and Jason and Jason alone, alone in the car. <laughs> okay, because shit's been weird. <laughs> awesome. So let's start with that. So Jason Avery. Uh, yeah, unless unless Jason takes the whip. I am thinking about that, but I think <laughs> I think uh, I think it's that Jason like gets in the car with Avery, and like as we're pulling out. He's like, where's Kanan? Uh, Kanan did the thing that they like to do and uh, leave us alone so that we are forced to talk to each other because they feel like things have been awkward lately. Oh. And they think they're being very, very smooth with it. and very, uh, A very yeah. subtle move yeah. that, uh, that we can't see coming. <laughs> you know, it's a it's only a 10 minute drive. It's it's not that awkward. We're fine. Yeah. We're young adults. Yeah. We've saved the world in a group together, so we can t drive in a car alone. It's easy. It's so easy. Yeah. I don't even... You're the one driving. I don't even have to do anything. No. You, you just sit back and relax. Jason, like, <laughs> cranks the seat back a little bit. <laughs> and then immediately, like, is like, this is weird. And, like, cranks it back up. <laughs> Good fucking lord. Turn on turn on the radio. Mark Dantes. It's, yeah. it's all love songs. Um, you actually... You turn on the radio, um... You hear, uh, you know, it's not Isla, obviously. Uh, you hear, uh, there's a different host on the radio. Um, his name is uh, Clark. 
I was James. just about to say it was Clark. His name is Clark James. Um, and uh, yeah, he sounds real vanilla, real milk toast, uh, kind of boring. Um, but he, yeah, that is the voice that is on the radio for some reason. Mark I need to write that Clark. down so I don't. Remember. Mark and Clark. <laughs> On the on the Clark and Mark show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have a uh, Have you heard from Isla? No, I uh, I haven't heard from her since she you know set back out. What about you? Anything? I've well, haven't heard sp- specific you know like words from her, but uh, she's sent messages a few times. And the the shells. That's good. Yeah. So good yeah mm-hmm. um, how's the revenge coming <laughs> oh it's going fine you know I've got some more information and I know how to throw an axe now nice um, how's uh how's, how's the how's the self discovery working out oh terrifying uh mm-hmm. yeah but you know uh I think <clears throat> any supernatural being with some sort of weird uh, ancient creature inside of you uh, could probably say similar. Yeah. Yeah. How's uh, how's Grandma? Speaking of that. How is Grandma, Zach? Evangeline's kicking. Dead. She's living her best <laughs> life. You know, <laughs> she's had, had her summer looks out. Lots of very flowy kind of robe things. Um... Granny shows uh, a a, a, um, a fair amount of skin in the summertime. It's a little odd, but you know what? Evangeline's doing Evangeline. She's got that. a lot of big ah, hats. Grandma, summer. She's got a lot of big <laughs> hats, and yeah, she uh, she's living. Uh, she is great, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, she's she's been really wonderful, and I haven't told her a single thing about anything that I've been doing. So that's probably why she's been so good cuz cuz she doesn't know what I'm doing. Wait, why why are you not telling her what you're doing? <sighs> okay, um basically my entire life she's been telling me not to poke the raven. Sure. And I've kind of been like prodding at it all summer. Um she's She's seen the effects of what this can do kind of firsthand. Um, But I always thought that it was because it was wielded wrong, right? I mean, any weapon in any hand wielded incorrectly is going to cause some damage, you know? Yeah. And so I've been keeping it from her because I don't want her to stop me. I mean... You said that she's she's seen this before, right? Yeah, with um my great 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 grandmother. It was your Dorothea. Once, yeah, it it would be your great great grandmother. Great great grandmother. Yes. I mean, I, not to interject, but like, don't you? If she's seen this before, you, you, do you think that she's not going to notice you doing it? <sighs> That's a great point that I haven't thought of, Jason. Your grandma is scary. Like, and part of that is like the perceptiveness of like, she's got eyes like, uh, I, is it appropriate to say hawk or am I supposed? She's she's good at this, and yeah. she'll figure it out. Maybe, but, but but maybe by the time she figures it out, I have answers. You know. Maybe. I don't know. It's it's none of my business. I just don't. I I, I just like she's. Other other than you is going to be the person who knows the most about this. Yeah, I know. And if if, if this summer's if this summer's taught me anything, it's that you, when you need a book, you go to the library. You use your you use the resources you got. You know, uh, how far is it now? Yeah, we're about three minutes out. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Mark. The uh, yeah the drive <laughs> continues to be awkward. Uh, Canaan. Uh, yeah, after um, your mother once again uh, uh, reminding you to release the beast, uh, you do, uh, I'm assuming you also head towards the party, but on foot? 
Yeah, I actually do go straight towards the party. Like, Kanan doesn't linger. Um, it does have that, like, kind of cringe moment whenever their mom is like, Unleash, Unleash the beast! beast. I'm just like, <sighs> That's okay, mom, exactly, I, honey. I love you. I love you, too. I'll I'll have fun. Do I have a curfew tonight? No. <sighs> okay. All right, 2 a.m. All right, Mom. Does that I'll make you home. feel better? Yeah, I'll be home by 2 a.m. Awesome. No chores tomorrow. Okay, Mom. I love you. <laughs> love you. And then Kanan starts walking towards the party. Yeah. So a few more months pass. We're getting towards this the, the, the time where... Um, your senior year would begin. Do you go back to Harbervale? Do you return to the radio station? Your you know your friends, your life there. I think Isla would bring that question to Julian and ask what he thinks. Yeah, no, yeah, you you, you swim up to to your boy uh, who's you know just kind of you know hanging out, like is putting away some of like the tools from the day's work. Hey, Gop, how's it going? Uh, good. Um... Sorry, I've been a little out of sorts today. You're fine. It's... Do you know what today would be? Well, I mean, oh, not today, but close uh, to it. Friday. Yeah? No. Yes. Uh, yes. But on Monday... You would go back to school. Wow, I didn't think you would get that. But yes. I, 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 I was... Uh, I, um, I want to say context clues, but I also don't think that that's the correct... Well, anyway. You got it anyway. Are you excited about that? Sad about that? I can't. And he's like looking at you. He's like, I can't gauge how you're feeling about this. I don't, I don't know what to do. I've been learning from dad and you and the ocean is closer to me somehow here. And when I went left last time, I don't know if you remember, but an ancient uh, being appeared. I don't think that happened because you left, though, Gup. No, I know. It's just a weird coincidence. Yeah. Kind of puts a weird taste in your mouth about it. Yeah. And do I want to be around humans again? Uh, I mean, do you want to be around your friends again? I mean, you haven't seen them really since everything happened. Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's... Do you want to work at the radio station and steal things from people and but what comes after what do you mean i mean julian i'm a, I'm a mermaid i'm not going to graduate and go to college well i know but i mean you've got a promising radio career which like you could do and then you know summer in the ocean or like you know do like a half year there half year here like it doesn't you don't need to have that figured out right now you wouldn't come with me again, would you? I could. I mean, like, the crop's almost harvested, harvested for the year. I could help your dad get things planted and join you in a couple of weeks, if you'd like. But you wouldn't like that. I like your friends. I think they're fun. I'm not but against But everything else idea. that comes with it? What, like the legs? The legs were hard to get used to. <laughs> yeah. But McDonald's has this fantastic drink called a Frappy. I don't know if you tried one. I haven't. What's that? It's like a cold slush, but it's like made of like um, was that coffee stuff that everyone drinks to like wake oh. them up. So Ew. it's it's it's. Uh, I know it sounds gross, but it's incredible. You've had coffee and you I've, like it? It's really good. I think you'd fit on land way too well. All I'm saying is, if you feel like the the farm is what's keeping you here, we've got it covered for now. And soon, like it's you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be sort of the off season, and you'll have more time down here than like you've you know got like patience. What if I just try it, and if I don't like it, you can always come back. Yeah, I I think that's. A good idea. Okay. Well, this so, is our last weekend here. Yeah, we should, we should, we should get to get to get to work. <laughs> I don't think that's what I was meaning. 
Oh, no. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. He like sort of, uh, uh, his cheeks sort of uh, redden and he's like, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I meant we should go find somewhere private. That's what I meant. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Awesome. And yeah, the two of you go find a, a nice uh, lone uh, grotto somewhere and however it is mermaid get down uh y'all get down beats me um well hey i think this is a good time to talk about uh, a little bit about your season advancement because you now uh when uh the the koi tuss happens have a choice between two sex moves i do awesome so which uh which one do you use here hmm it's very uh low stakes yeah right now yeah so part of me says siren but part of me says i want to try the new one i don't know it's up to you let's go crazy let's use the new one awesome so uh yeah will you will you read uh uh your new uh elemental sex move yes so i chose to change my skin to chimera Mm -hmm. and i chose the siren and the elemental gotcha so So you're a a water lady now very much so. I'm becoming water. Full water um, lady. When you have sex with someone, your chaotic nature manifests. Choose one. You suffer one harm, they suffer one harm, or you damage or destroy something. Awesome. What is your choice? Um, let's... Oh, Julian has no idea what's about he has to no clue. He has no clue. Buddy has no clue. The sweet, sweet um, bean. I will suffer one harm. You'll I'll suffer... Take it. I'll take the hit. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's one of those things where, like, the water around you two just, like, courses and swirls and, like, a chunk of rock breaks off and just, like, hits you in the shoulder, like, just right at the end of things. And it's just like, what the f- what? Ow. Are you okay? Um, sex-wise, yes. Nice, okay, good. no. All right, well, we'll get that looked at. Um... And yeah, I think he you, you, you finish up, and uh, yeah, he takes you to get your shoulder cleaned up after <laughs> you made the ocean rip a rip a chunk of rock off the wall. Don't uh, ask questions, Dad. Nah, but like, what's going on? Like, what happened? <laughs> Just, you know how things are eroding in the ocean. Ah, it's horrible. Yeah, this fucking the voice is back, Mariah. I'm fine with it. Keep awesome. It. Um, so. Yeah, you, you know, a, a couple days pass. You gather, you gather your things up, um, and you head towards towards land. You, uh, yeah, you make it over to the party, like you know, n- n- nice, nice and easy breezy. You know, um, yeah, you walk in and you know, are, are very quickly uh, greeted by Xavier. Holy shit, you're here! And yeah, with, like, and you came by yourself. No one had to drag you here. Yeah, yeah, I figure. Look at you growing. I, I, I'm trying, man. Come on. Yeah, no, uh, uh, not long after uh, Austin walks up and sort of you know puts his hand uh, around uh, Xavier's waist. Hey, how's it going? It's hey, my, man. It, it's my, my, my own personal savior. How's it going? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, uh, so no liquor runs tonight. And if you do no, go on one, I will not be I'm, the one. I'm going with I'm, you if you we, do. We are very well stocked. Okay, good. Very well stocked. Just like incredibly well stocked. Okay, yeah. Good. 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 Yes, yeah. Good. Have uh have Avery and Jason gotten here yet? They have not. You you let them ride to together. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on with them. I feel like I don't wanna intervene or say something. So but you, just, I also, you just bail on a car ride so well, they I also have to be don't want to I don't want to be in the way. I don't know how to navigate this stuff, man. Yeah, I think you, you made the right call. I think you made the right call. Thanks. I felt like kind of a jerk at first. But... Oh, you're fine. They're they're a big boy and a big girl. They'll be fine. I hope so. <laughs> well, anyway, you want to make me a drink, man? You're I still... would love to. Yeah, he pops it pops a, a a toothpick in his mouth. Gets it gets the down to business. Starts shaking, shaking, shaking around. Yeah, you know the majority of the people at this party. You know from school. There are four people that you haven't met before. Um, the first, uh, it's like a sort you know a, a a a you know quatrain of four. Um, three of them are sort of tightly clustered around 
um, a uh, beautiful red-headed woman, uh, you know, standing there, like, hair in a high, like, really tight sort of ponytail, like, lovely blue eyes. She's sort of, you know, talking to, to all four of them. Um, well, to, to the other three. Uh, one of the others, um, you see... Uh, Dark pair of sunglasses on, flowing black hair, you know, a flower sort of tucked into there. Looks very, like, even with the sunglasses, looks very, like, calm, collected, like, disinterested. Um, you see uh, a uh, just gorgeous guy. His hair near white, very well dressed, quite fit pair of you know, uh, sunglasses with red lenses uh, in them uh, and the last of this little cluster uh, you see this beautiful individual uh, sort of medium you know medium brown skin strangely light blue eyes and like gray almost white hair that is in like, a series of braids and a big ponytail uh, and yeah they're all just sitting around chatting um, just kind of amongst themselves I I turn to Austin and Xavier and I look at the guy with the with the white hair and, and the, the glasses, sunglasses and I turn to them and I I go hey uh is guy L coming tonight uh no I specifically um we had a bit of a chat and I told him not to that might be bad and might mean he might show up but he is not invited uh, okay. so if he shows up you everyone has my permission to try and throw his ass out he got weirdly swole over the summer um but I think with the, the the group of us, we could collectively throw his ass out. I also just weirdly think he'd try to fight that guy. Oh, the really that's Holden. Yeah, that 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 Holden. Yeah, that group. They're um they're all new here. Um, they're apparently all their parents work in like shipping, and um with all of like the you know the people that left Harborvale over last year, um. A weird factoid, uh, since everything happened, there's been a, a strangely large exodus from this town that seemed to have happened uh, when a bunch of stuff fell apart. Uh, mainly Inconceivable. A very uh, uh, intense cult uh, after they got uh, their leader was you know, sent to the bottom of the ocean and their god sent back to the nether realms uh, sort of uh, took off. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, he's like, um, so yeah, with the, all the uh, you know empty spots down, you know, in the the port, their parents, I guess, bought up a couple of the docks, and um, yeah, they're they're all sort of business partners. So okay, so they're up here. So yeah, they'll be Kinda... going. To, they'll be in our class, I think. Okay. Ah uh, well, I mean, the more the merrier, I guess. Yeah. I, I can't say I know them as people, but hope they're cool. Fingers crossed. They seem all right. So far, look, look uh, like a little snooty, but like, I mean, have they like slammed anyone on a no, table? No, they haven't like or? slammed anyone. No, they haven't slammed anyone on a table. Um, well, that's already a positive so, point yeah, for it's me. It's going, it's going pretty well. Then they're all really hot, and uh, Austin sort of gets Xavier in the ribs a little bit. Oh God, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, they are. I, uh, I will leave them to their own devices. Nice. That is cautious of you yeah <laughs> yeah 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 and the three of you sit there and just sort of look at the countertop and do like one of those group <laughs> like <sighs> <laughs> right off the bat i think as you're you know sort of like walking onto the streets you see like a car cruise by it's got the window down and you hear your radio station that is playing um but notably mark isn't djing there seems to be just like this really boring sounding guy. His name is Clark James, and he appears to be running the radio station at the moment. What a horrible DJ name. Yeah, Clark James. Just kidding. It's actually pretty good. Do you head over that way? Uh, to yes. But figure I think out that... what the hell's going on. Yeah, it's my radio station. Um, I think before I leave the shore, mm -hmm. I think that Isla... Um, brought with her like a little glass vial mm -hmm. and she'll ask um the ocean to fill it up with it to take with her awesome so you, you, you're like hey i'm gonna take a little bit of, take a little bit of you with me exactly sort of a vibe. i love that yeah you take yeah. a little bit of the ocean with you you've got it in your many pockets 
because uh, I'm assuming you have Mark's jacket now. Oh yeah, it's um, sopping. It's, it's so, so heavy. it's soaked to the bone. <laughs> it's been underwater for months at this point. Um, and yeah, you head off towards the radio station, and um, you know you, you sort of barge through the doors, you know, <laughs> there to figure out w- <laughs> what the hell is happening. And um, as you sort of uh, move towards the booth, you see two people, um, you know, in the booth, sort of behind the microphone, you see uh, this uh, fella. He's got sort of light brown skin, like a pair of really dorky glasses on, sort of swept back hair, like a like a very light mustard yellow shirt, like the short sleeve kind with like a, a really like, you know, fat tie. And you see, uh, um, be sort of in the booth, uh, sort of you know, uh, working the board and stuff. Where Mark normally is when you're, uh, when you know you are DJing, um, you see sort of pa- shorter yeah, hair, <laughs> yeah, sort of palish skin, white hair, sort of in like a, like a you know like a little bob, um, a tattoo on the shoulder, septum piercing. She looks so like bored and. Like, there's, like, her eyes are dark. Like, she's got some dark eyes. And she's just kind of, like, sitting there, like, absentmindedly, like, you know, fiddling with the board. Um, but you see, yeah, uh, the, the person uh, behind the microphone sort of, like, sees you coming in and takes off uh, his headphones. You could say he sort of, like, leans over and says something into the microphone. You see, like, the on-air light above the door go off. Uh, and he uh, exits the booth. Why, hello, you are Isla Hart. Who are you? I, I'm, uh, yeah, he reaches his hand out. I'm Clark James. Um, how are you? We haven't seen you in months. We wondered what happened to you. We? Well, yeah, um, so I'm originally from, uh, uh, the network that sort of, you know, makes sure that the, the, that kind of sponsors the station, um, you know, that, that you are sort of an offshoot of. Um, when the, uh, manager of that station vanished for several weeks, um, leaving the radio uh, station to essentially run on autopilot. Um, the network sent me in to make sure things uh, got back on track. And then our star DJ also kind of uh, disappeared on us for a while. Uh, and so uh, I had to take on being behind the mic for a bit. So things are back on track. So where's Mark? Mark uh, has been let go. I'm sorry, what? What? Uh, I think at this point, yeah, Avery, Jason, you end up uh, arriving at the party. Oh, look. The party. It, we made it. <laughs> look, the party. <laughs> <laughs> Over uh, there. <laughs> it's the party. Oh, we my made goodness, it. everybody. <laughs> it's that place we were driving to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Avery just, like, beelines for the drinks. Kind yeah, of gives you, a side eye to Kanan, like I know yeah, what you did. Yeah, you, you saddle up. Austin's sitting there whipping up a few things. Hey, how's it going? Great. Um, can Your I just usual? get a, a solid ginger ale? Actually, just, just a ginger a ale. Crisp Canada dry ginger ale would be perfect. You got it. He walks to the uh, to the fridge where there is like a twelve pack of just cans. You can see on the bo- on the side it says just for the cool people. And he pulls one of the cans out, cracks it, and puts it into a glass, like a like a really nice like you know, glass like crystal tumbler. It's and, also and, branded. Yeah, the and glass. glass. <laughs> yeah, and slides it across the table to you. There you are. Thanks. Uh, how have you been? I am doing doing all right. You know. Good. I'm glad to hear it. it. Yeah, the last of the scabs finally healed. Nice. Yeah. Listen, I'm sure somebody already said it, but no. Yeah, no I, drink runs. We start. We stocked up. We stocked up. Oh, we stocked okay. up. Okay, good. <laughs> Enjoy the party. Absolutely, I'll be. I'll be here. Should you need anything? Uh, uh, yeah, the, I think both Xavier and Austin like l- look at look at Avery, look at Kanan, look at Avery, look at Kanan. It's like, there's. I, I hope there's not going to be tension here, and they both sort of like slink away. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Kanan. Hey. uh... Uh, hey. hey, listen, uh, <laughs> I know what you were trying to do, and if we needed that, I would have thanked you. But we're fine. We're we're adult. We're we're ad- adulty people. 
Yeah, no, I never, I never said you weren't. I just mm. think I, sorry. No, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if things have been weird this summer, I, I apologize. It, it's, it's not going to be like that. Jason we had a weird cool. year, man. You don't yeah. have to apologize. I just, part of me didn't want to be in the way, if that makes sense. Heard and understood, but you're not in the way, ever. Trust All right. me. Okay, I, I believe you. I, I'll take I'll take you at your word. Well, I'm gonna go mingle with my nice, refreshing glass of Canada Dry. Did you see? Uh, we got new kids, man. Really? And then I like point over to that like little gaggle, like uh, yeah, Austin and Xavier say that their parents are in shipping, and so they kind of like moved in, bought some property around the docks after we rebuilt it. So yeah, you you see the 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 the, the quartet of hot people. <laughs> wow, yeah, we must have really gone through something last year. If I'm looking at these incredibly hot people, and instead of thinking, "Wow, those people are incredibly hot," and instead thinking, "What are they hiding?" <laughs> well, that's uh, I don't think that's a healthy way to look at it. Yes, you're probably but right. Mostly, I was just saying I know that you're a pretty social person you could go introduce yourself if you're feeling a little off you know distract yourself thanks Kanan yeah uh sorry if that's kind of overstepping but (laughs) hey you're fine I um, am I don't know if I told you but I'm officially closing my office this year uh I'm is your lease up or just (laughs) Uh, yeah, I uh, couldn't afford the rent this year. I I hear it's brutal. I know they raised it, so that's fair. Hey, I'll I'll see you around. <laughs> All right, take care. And I kind of like give her the like two pats on the shoulder. Yeah, uh, Jason, when you get to the party, where do you go? I was about to say, I think that Jason pops into this back ro- this room at the, exactly as this conversation is ending. And it's just like, have you seen the new guys? They are so hot. Yeah. Hey, maybe not say that so loud with an earshot i'm sure they know thank you so much for listening to this episode of these silent secrets if you liked what you heard and you want to support us there's a bunch of ways you can do that super easy ones right now wherever you're listening to us just scroll on down if you can rate review and subscribe to us we would really really appreciate it all those things boost us up and we also just love hearing what you have to say about our show Another super duper easy one is just to talk to some people about us. You know, I, I know myself, I'm always asking friends, hey, what kind of, what, what are we listening to? I need something new to give a try. You just let them know, hey, these Silent Secrets, it's fantastic. They have one full season out right now and they're just starting their second season. So you can get in on the ground floor and then they start to listen and then they tell more people about it and we make a human pyramid. All of our friends, we all get together, we stack up, reaching up into the very heavens. And I think that's something that we can all aspire to, frankly. Some other ways to support us, you know, if you're feeling saucy, you can check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash ghostlightmedia, where you can donate to us monthly and get some fantastic rewards for yourself. You can also check out our merch store at tpublic.com slash door slash ghostlight we are uh uh today the day that this releases launching a um season one t-shirt like it was like a hey we wrapped up season one it's a fun harbor veil baseball sort of uh uh, looking like a baseball jersey kind of a thing um but you can check that out over at tpublic.com you can check us all out online. You know, we've got our uh, website, which is thesilentsecrets.com. We've got a TikTok at These Silent Secrets, and we're on Twitter at Silent Secret Pod, where you can, you know, tweet at us, talk to us, and we can just have a nice chat. You can also find us all individually. You can find Nicole at Nicole Voice, Marcus at Marcus RVO, Freddie at Freddie underscore pow pow, Mariah at underscore Mariah Clausen, and myself at that guy, Zach Rob. We'll be back in two weeks with another episode. But until then, may your secrets stay hidden, and may you always remind Austin Barker not to go out on a drink run. Buddy, stay at home this time. This has been a Ghostlight Media production.